Hey, what's that? A sneaking giant. Oh my god. Welcome back to another episode. Hey, people. No music. Okay. Uh, so we need to go for the G and then uh, F. Read the treasure. We need to. Um, uh, the officers in the coast of Africa and Ziba Kuba remain trusting. Uh, and unaware of any subterfuge, I have uh, much to share. Please seek out the sunken gold mine, which is. And I think I've been looking for like 10 minutes straight at the map. I went to the coast of Africa, and I realized this is the sunken gold mine, which I can actually fast travel to if I just disembark. So if you're on this quest and you've already uh, traversed throughout the map, or at least get a couple uh, fast travel points, you'll be uh, you'll be handy dandy on your way. And look, this is uh, it costs money, I know, but I have nearly thirty thousand of these gold coins so, or silvers. And it is a fast travel. And now we need to find the map around and about. So, in the quest line, it says the treasure is in this outpost. Okay, yes. And it says um, it must be near a, an X. So, we're going to be running around looking for an X. Uh, so from what I know, if you're on the red outpost, it has a giant glaring red flame. flame. Random letter. Um, but we'll just you. It's for me. It's trial and error because I'm a <coughs> I'm an idiot. So I tend to walk around a lot and then figuring out where to go because if there's secrets. And you can find random letters as well. There's a bonfire, but the... Oh! Talking about... Yeah. There we go. There's the X marker, and now we can dig it up. I think I got lucky. Uh -huh. I don't know if it's a static spawn. So we got a dying message. Okay. Then we go to the quest. And uh, DT. Um... Find and nominate one of Skurlock's traders. Examine the dying message to locate the trader's whereabouts. So then we go in that. We go there. Uh, a scrawled note that mentioned the words betrayed, rogue warship, and in Jiwe, Africa. So, map. Because of Africa. Where is G Way? I think Skurlock's Trader is there and I can fast travel. It's nice that they give you like an area where you look from. And yes, my ship is kind of considered overpowered, especially because you're in a low tier area. Which is uh, not an issue for me though. I think a majority of the people have unlocked it now. Um, I don't need flooding dummy cannon in my ship. There we go, set sail. Mm -hmm. But the game runs super smooth though. So. Okay, so uh, we are looking for a traitor and I do believe that looks like a traitor to me. No, that, that's the trader. What can it be? Only trouble to me, That's the one I need to merge, yeah? Request or no? Or is it over there? Uh, no, G Ray is there. Skrillex trader. Uh, Captain Joka Kiba is just a uh, bounty uh, boy. I don't, uh. Huh. Might have killed him already, but. Uh, uh, nah. I can't help, mate. I'm on my own quest. So we're uh, heading for the trader. Let's see if we can find it. He should be around here. 
think that is him. Target found, Captain! Over there! Oh, that is a not so chunky boy. Oh, mate, you're gonna get directed. Oh, oh. He is actually fairly chunky. Uh, boarded. Hey, boy. What? I was gonna say. You're yoinked. Ooh, extra tobacco. It's never bad. Okay. Um, quest says. Oh. No. Map. G. Uh, return to Skurlock with the information. Okay, let me return to Skurlock and help that guy, but. I'll be back in a boot. Hello. Uh, welcome to another episode. I was just uh, fiddling around, figuring stuff out. And apparently, um, Janita is a bar. Uh, which is below somewhere in St. Anne. I'll show you guys in a second. And you pay in 2,500 silver coins. And then you get access to the helm. Um... Here begins your journey to become the richest pirate entrepreneur in the Indian Ocean. By following Yanita's initiation, you will learn everything you need to run a successful smuggling business. So. Till next time. So, she can be found at the bottom here. So you can run over the top and sit down, but you need to go straight in. So that, and uh, oh, this sounds a little bit long. Let's get into the smuggler's hideout. Uh, the, um, the, um, the chat line is as similar as every. So, yeah. Hmm. That is a fairly big back door, to be honest. Opportunities abound from outsiders to locals and plain shipwrecks. All of them have plunder. <laughs> Things change fast out in the water. Opportunities move between outposts and factions, so you need to be quick. Check the supply network. Chase some leads and scrape a few holes. Come back to me here with any sugarcane you find. Oh, I do have sugarcane, I believe. So the supply network gives you intel to gather sugar cane and other helm materials. New opportunities will arise while old ones expire over time. Check back frequently to not miss out on lucrative deals. Uh, all the helm opportunities you have accepted are registered at the helm tab in your journal. Okay. So uh, there. So there is a supply network thing. Oh wow. Oh. I think this is where you get the other coins. So, a helmless one has put a shipment of sugarcane for sale. Okay, so... You need to supply deal. A helmless one has put a shipment of sugarcane for sale. So, if you accept it... Okay. Then we track it. So, yes, acquire. Meet with helmet to acquire the shipment. So, then we go to my ship. Manage cargo and just make sure everything is away. Let's do one now uh, with everybody together so we know how it goes. Man, I have a lot of loot. I'm just gathering as, as much as I can. Uh, hopefully I keep everything. And then I'm mainly talking about the relics. I got like one relic that was a pain to get, I believe it was. The do, 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 do. one of these two, a, I think this capital relic, which was hard to find, hard to get, but it was gave me some cool stuff and some thirster springs. 
which you definitely need uh, for a certain upgrade. Uh, go for works can go there. Yep. So uh, we need to go uh, there. There is no. Oh, there is a. Is there a question? Is that. Might as well just fast travel. That saves me coin. Mm <laughs> hmm. Okay, there we go. Uh, acquire silver, and then we go there. Do, 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 do. So these are like short deals. Well, that's, it gives a lot of different things to do in the game. I do really like it. Um, Yes. Do you seek a ship steered by a golden wheel as well? If you do, then we each employ methods that differ vastly. As a pirate, your warship allows for force. As a liaison, I use my network to uncover hidden knowledge. Mm -hmm. Brazen, aren't you? Liaisons have been hung for selling secrets. How do you suppose I rose to this position so rapidly? We liaisons watch each other like falcons. Show the smallest weakness. And they will rip you open with their talents. Knowledge I cannot share. Hmm. But of goods and wares, I offer you my finest. Okay, nice. Contract completed. Okay. Is there anything else? No. There's no extra supply network. So... I have nothing more. Be up with you. Okay, cool. Which, in just the best case, I I can just back and forth uh, with say then, which is it costs a little of coin, but it is definitely a supply because there was I had a sneaky suspicion about the uh, wares, some of the wares. I'll show you guys. Cost, look out. Uh, I'll give the deal recipe after I show you guys this. So there is a. Uh, there it, Scorlock will kill the goose that lays the golden yes, eggs before long. Yes, that's fine. His greed will be the end of So I found a bunch of um what's it called? Do, 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 do. Where is it? Uh, 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 no not not Max. Uh juniper berries? So we found it the white skull gin in Saint Anne's helm office? Same with a uh, tobacco reef, we found as a black snuff. So, uh, we found poppy, we found as a blue lotus opium at the laboratory of Telok. Sugarcane, I already found that. But that such so you can produce pretty much anything. everything, but yeah. So let's go, I'll show you guys how to get there. So you can go around, but then you go over. So you, instead of... Like taking the shirt is the shortest way. You go for Le Pont Muet. And this time you just talk to her. What's your poison today? Yo ho, Galvi! Yes. You've done your first job. This calls for a drink. But one job is hardly enough to die rich, eh? Mm -hmm. Come to me when you're ready for more. The question is, do I keep the sugar cane? Uh, home success things moving goods and great. Complete the first uh, with an overseas. We'll do that later. Uh, uh, we'll do that one later. My question is, do I keep the cargo? Uh, so I do keep the sugar cane. So, in return for uh, the uh, travels, I get sugar cane and some reputation, of course. So, that is great. Um, yeah, the, in the beginning, don't make this mistake, I'll show you. You go up here thinking that she is here. And then you're like, I want uh, <laughs> You know, you're like, I want her. So, uh, yeah, there's a lot of stuff and things to do. And every bit of map has different access, access points and things to unlock, which is super cool. Um, 
I am doing some with uh, Skurlock trying to do to get to him to uh, unlock me his majestic coverings. But I can't seem to get it. Um, because uh, right now I'm trying to unlock whatever I can. So everything that is not locked behind a uh, status of pirate. I'll try to unlock. So I have had uh, the release. Like I unlocked the fire bombard. Fire bombard 1, fire bombard 2. I can unlock up to repair bombard 2. Mons mag. That is in the Ragno cave. So I'll probably get that. I got like three bombards. It's mainly blueprints. That's why I'm uh, getting so much, trying to get so much money. And I want Skurlog's long chasers purely for the fact that it has cannonballs. Uh, it uses cannonballs and it has the um, the mass breaker. So deals seven thousand damage after the thorn sail effect is applied. So you just shoot for the sails. Problem solved. It shoots fast. Shoots far. It is good amount of damage. It has two gun ports. That's pretty much what you need to know. I was also looking to get the long gun. But if you see the difference in strength. This one has 60. This one has 45. Same with this. 68. So depending on how you set up your ship. You can also put a shalai. This is a high explosive torpedo. I can't get Rama's ambition yet because it's locked, but I do have Torpedo 2 unlocked, which 880 damage or 880 damage. So I'm just looking in that. Uh, you also have another option for a auxiliary weapon. That's the only one currently, which is the mortar, which is the only thing you can use, uh, which is fine. The only downside is uh, to get the shield like you're shooting ship, so that's fine to get, but yeah. You also have a repair mortar and the Leopold uh, shrapnel bearing shells. And that is a, a very big damage boy. This one deals damage but this one too. Uh, if I have a chance I'll probably go for the rockets because the barrage. But the range is low so it depends on what. Um, wise in the gun bit I currently uh, can only unlock the sea fire. Which you need oil canisters for. Um. Uh, is low range but it has burning so it's handy dandy yeah blue specter is at the end what you want and the twin winch ballista the double can be further cranked great draw weight and power uh the nice bit about it is at maximum charge the damage increase 600 percent and it pierces deals a lot of damage so it, it is nice and then for ship uh, advanced and exotic armor of course you need kingpin one um this one gives 400 and has a 1100 armor 1200 armor the black prince but you're just looking at better armor currently i, ha I believe i have la fortressa just 720 and the bastion is yes yeah, so it's a little bit extra but you need to uh keep in mind that depending on the armor it has five different statistics uh, where it gets where it has damage mitigation so this one for instance has a good dam uh, mitigation against damage like fire and piercing which is a lot of the damage that you find but there is tearing cadence that tear your sail down which Anyone princess curlux wants is has the, uh, the the coverings that shoot the sail flooding is well, there's flooding damage, so you just slow down. Explosive damage is pretty easy fast forward. Just explosion damage. Fire is just a burning ship. So that's however it's set up. Uh, keep in mind that the early armors, like this one, it has just piercing protection. And this one has just explosive protection. So the later on the stages you get, for instance, this one has a bunch of statistics, but depends on which enemy you're up against explosion flooding and fire mitigation tearing and piercing it isn't this one for instance has explosive mitigation fire and piercing which to me seems good you're only capable for tearing and flooding but yeah that's up to that and then you just in general making uh, the making of items i've been getting a lot of metal salvage because i can make a bunch of cannonballs you just you can craft what is it? Yeah, I could just craft a bunch all of a sudden. 
So that, I'm just doing quests and you can do, or you can do the Anita quest line. Uh, I'll probably, since I have the, um, the edition that allows me to uh, play uh, three days before. So I won't be able to play from the, from two, yeah, from a couple two days. So I'll, I'll edit the videos and put them online and uh, I'll make sure every day is a video, hopefully. In the mix with the other games that I play, of course. Um, and yeah, in the ship size. Uh, oh yeah, let's take a look at that. So for the future, I don't know if they just deliberately left some ships out or if it's uh, up to progress. But if I am right, the uh, carpenter, you, would one day you can craft pickaxe. Five, saw five, sickle five, uh, spyglass three, uh, five crowbar hunting spear and the hunting spear four and five. Um, I pretty much unlocked whatever I have and need. Uh, for this, there is a whole bunch of extra unlocks. I just need to get a couple more to unlock, which I'll probably do as much as I can in my spare time. Uh, there is one. You can, there's a nice thing, you can reduce the uh, damage to enemy ships with a blaze effect. Oh, sorry, increase, this is, increase the durations. Uh, I have a maintenance forge in my ship, because whenever you die, you get severe damage, and that will get rid of that over time, so that's handy. Uh, the double planked hull would be great, but I can't, because I'm locked uh, for this beta. For the rest, I've got every major furniture. Um, I wanted the scrapper station, which I unlocked. Uh, it restores 8,000 whole health after crew attack, so that's handy dandy. For the rest, this is all unlocked, but that's easy peasy. Um, and then the ship wise, uh, I got a. What is it? So I got three, four ships. I got the Dehound, the Sloop. The better. Um, I went from D Hound to better and did the bunch, then swapped to the sloop to do the bigger stuff, and then went to the Padawan. Uh, I just went straight to Padawan because that was easier to do. Um, in retrospect, uh, I could have built a Hulk, which I do have to resource for easy peasy, and I can also make a barge if I want to, which every ship has its own stats. Um, for instance, this is a ship that is specialized in dealing damage and status effects. Uh, it has wildfire, applying a blaze will ship apply the same effect to all enemies in a radius. Um, so every ship has its own specialty. For instance, the Hulk is in, specialized in bracing, reduced brace strength depletion for 20% one hit. So you can make nice defensive ships. The Padawan is specialized in dealing damage. And whenever it has... So that's my ship that I'm using. Explosive hits have a 70% chance to trigger an explosion which deals a thousand damage within 125 blast radius. Increased to 100% if the target ship is a blaze. So I have uh, on my ship, I have the, uh, oh, not managed cargo. I have. On the side, I have fire long guns, which send my target to blaze. Then I can either uh, put Skrillex Laser to slow them down initially when I'm fighting, turn them into fire bits, and then Auxiliary Mortar them. Then I can either uh, use Mons Max, which are handy. Uh, I got those two especially for explosive damage and for getting rid of structures when you're getting away from somewhere. And this gives my total ship a, uh, a rating of 7, almost 8. Uh, you can build up your ship however you want to. Uh, Armor-wise, I just went for the La Fortress because it gives the best statistics and the most armor. So that's how I chose that. Um, Furniture-wise, I've made some dealio of setup. So... Um, I wanted to use the uh, crew attack one, which I can actually build. I got the blueprint, but uh, I'm currently I'm using the rope locker because my acceleration, when the trim is activated, uh, gives more speed, which is handy. Gives you movement speed on the go. Uh, 
I am also using the maintenance forge, so severe damage. When your ship strands, you get the red bar, and it de depletes that over time um, while you're out of combat. Uh, then I have an extra elemental damage multiplier to my culverins, which are the side ones. Wait, wait a second. I think I swapped that, so I need to. Yeah, th those are like, those are like long guns, so I swapped them. So then. That's how I learn stuff. So I should have swapped that to a uh, what's it called? A brrr, a culverin works. So that's when I swapped this, and this is a culverin grinder. So I already had a culverin grinder for the speed. So now it deals more elemental damage and more speed. And you can build up your ship. You can make your max stamina, increase the ram damage. There's so much things. Uh, do only keep in mind that. Purple, uh, which is called, which is a major furniture, can only be one on a ship. So keep that in mind. Uh, ship cosmetic wise, it's straightforward. Um, it is what it is. You can unlock a bunch of things. There are like sets. I think from doing the whole quest line, you gain, I believe, the, the Skurlock set. Uh, and I believe this uh, Squidward coin, or at least it looks like it, uh, you get from that black market from Yanita that I found. Because there's two different types of coin. Um, there is this type of coin. The skull with the head on it and the uh, octopus coin besides your silver in. So I am curious how that pans out. But yeah, that is just the uh, thoughts of it. I'm going with the, the lion, but I also unlocked this one. So it's a personal preference. Uh, out of a treasure chest, I uh, accidentally found this one. An European luxury cosmetic set. Um, it looks nice when you're sailing, but there's also this one that makes sound. So yeah, I don't know how that one works, but... We'll see how that works out. And for the rest of it, it's just a little bit cosmetic for people to fund. This was in my, uh, uh, this was in my uh, package. Uh, looks cool though. It's nice to do one when you're done with the, uh, when you're done with the quest or stuff and things. So yeah, I've, so this is how you guys know how the situation is for me now. I'm just gonna do some uh, as long as again as much quests and trades and figure that out and hopefully i'll see you guys when we uh, when the release is there and everything goes smooth because i really like this game and it's fun it's enjoyable there's so much to do so uh hopefully it's go it goes all fine and smooth and i'll see you guys in game i want to thank you all for watching and if you like this content make sure to like comment and sub of course let me know what you think of it i'll be recording this as much as i can so Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.